Good day ladies and gentlemen, I'm Francis Kawi, the Compliance Corporate Affairs Legal Director of PT Bank Sianbiniaga, here in after referred to as the company. We have just completed annual general meeting of shareholders today, Friday, 9 April 2021. Hence, we would like to share the summary of our annual GMS resolutions as follows. The first agenda, approve the annual report and ratify the consolidated finances statement of the company for the financial year ended on the 31st of December 2020. The second agenda, approve the use of net profit of the company for the year end 2020 with the following details. First, distribution of cash dividend, maximum 60% of the net profit of the company, which will be distributed on the 7th of May 2021. Second, to record the remaining 2020 net profit after deducted with dividend payments, as return earnings to finance the company's business activities. The third agenda, first, approve the appointment of Irhuan Tanudereja and public accountant from Tanudereja, Bibisana, Rintis and Rekan, as a public accountant and public accounting firm who will audit the company's finances statement for the year and the 2021. Second, approve the proposed 2021 annual audit fee of the company. The fourth agenda. First, approve the salary or honorarium and other allowances for the Board of Commissioners and Sharia Supervisory Board of the company for the financial year of 2021. All members of commissioners, including independent commissioners and Sharia Supervisory Board, do not receive any tantium or bonus. Second, approve the tantium bonus of the Board of Directors of the company for the financial year of 2020. Third, approve the delegation of authority to the Board of Commissioners of the company to determine the remuneration, holiday allowances, and other allowances for each member of the Board of Directors of the company for the financial year of 2021. The fifth agenda, approve the amendment of several paragraphs in Article 11, 12, and 13 or the Article of Association of the company. The sixth agenda, approve the updated recovery plan which has been prepared and submitted to Financial Services Authority or OJK on the 23rd of November 2020. The seventh agenda, in the meeting it was also reported as follows. First, the accountability of the use of proceeds of public offering as of 30th of June 2020 whereas the funds obtained from the public offering had been used in accordance with the plan as disclosed in the prospectus. Second, the 2021 Sustainable Finance Action Plan of the company has been submitted to OJK on the 26th of November 2020. Third, the appointment of the new audit committee members of the company, namely Mr. Ronald T. A. Kasim, who has been in effect since 20th of April 2020. Fourth, the Management and Employee Stock Option Plan, or MISOP, program has been ended on the 22nd of February 2021, after it has been exercised for three years. Further, the company is intended to transfer the remaining treasury stock through A, extension of MISOP, and B, share-based variable remuneration program to the material risk taker of the company in accordance with the applicable laws and regulations as well as the terms and conditions approved by the company's board of directors. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that concludes the resolution of the Bank Sian Biniaga's 2021 Annual General Meeting of the Shareholders. Thank you and have a good day.